I'm going to teach you how to fine tune. So just move your mouse towards here and edit with Elementor. So it's going to take few minutes. So just be patient. Once you got into this interface, don't be panic. All right. Check out what are the problems. The first biggest problem is that it's not in full width. They are widgets on site. Go to here on the left bottom settings. Go to your templates over here. Click here and go to Elementor Canvas. You basically will see a wide page, a full page in your WordPress website. It's getting better, right? So you can notice that they are black colors. Probably it's not going to happen to your WordPress. Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to change the color at the back. So what you need to do, go to setting. You can see this thing over here. Once you get your Elementor canvas, go to style. This is the background. And then go to classic. Go to the color. Make it to white color. So you can see it changes. Looks pretty good. All right. The next problem is that you can see the button over here. You can notice that the paper icon is right on top of the word. It's because this column width is too small to fit in. What you need to do is to move your mouse towards the edge of here. You basically will see a uh, two arrows button right here. Simply click on it and pull it. There you go. You can see the paper is right just next to the word. What happened? You see, so it doesn't look nice. I want it to be further away. Right now, click on a button. You can see you will enter the button features where you can edit or amend. And you can see the icon over here, PayPal. So you can put other icons as well, such as credit cards, Bitcoin, whatever you want. The most important part is here, icon spacing. So you can just drag it and try to see which space that fit your preference. So, so let's say I'm gonna be like this. Yeah, looks cool. All right. So there you go. Basically, you've done the front end. How about here? Double click on here. I want this marketing word right next to digital words. So it seems like I couldn't pull this away. All I have to do is to make it smaller. Double click on it. Make sure you're on the title features. Go to style. Go to typography. You can adjust the size to make it smaller. You see it does it adjusts itself. Or you still want it to be bigger. You still can change the letter spacing over here go to here just click on the arrow so you can just change this minorly there you go simply squeeze the size between the words or the letter so it looks pretty cool done the first part let's move on to the next section so i got it here looks cool either way however if you don't like it you still can click on it and adjust the uh, size of the icon if you want and what if you want to change this icon into a, another icon pretty easy click on it and you'll see the images over here you can simply delete it and go to add button you will enter the media library so these are the images that you will see once you have import the JSON file in Elementor right now let's upload the files Go to upload files, go to select and enter the download files which you have gotten from me. Click on the images folder or whatever folder you have all the images inside. Just click any of the uh, icon that you want. For example, this one. See, I got it. The upper glass insert media. There you go. You can look at it. It looks so nice, right? So if you want to make it bigger, no problem. Click here, entering the features of the image, this icon, go to style. Go to style, you can change it. This, oh, it happens that this is the biggest size. So you still can make it bigger. You can go to contents, go to image size, simply make it bigger if they have it. So if they don't, this is how it looks like because the image file is that big. Let's move on to the next part. I'm going to teach you how to do hover animations. So let's say you don't like this thing to get bigger once you, once people move their mouse towards this pictures. 
click on it, go to style, you will see hover animation from here. Click on it, change as you please. I couldn't describe all the uh, hover animation. Basically what you need to do, just click on it and it will show you the preview. Let's go for this one, right? Rotate. Move your mouse, you will see you rotate. Grill rotate is so something like this. Or bob. Bob is simply just go upwards. Once you got it, that's it. You can carry on. Anyway, if you want to save it, go to here and go to save draft. Make sure you save it before you lost anything. So right now, let's move to the next section. On this, how does this benefit you? Section, you want to change the words. These are not the words that you want. You want to make it to other words. Remember, click on it, double click on it if you really want to confirm that you're entering the uh, edit section. From here, you can just simply write anything. You can put offline, selling, whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to change the font size, go to style go to typography, click here and simply adjust it. It's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is try and never change this. How does it looks like? Change that. How does it looks like? So right now, let's move to the other section. On this, I am online instructor and YouTube section. Basically, if you can see, I put in the hover animations. This icon is actually not from media uh, library, not from WordPress, it's actually from Elementor plugin itself. If you want to change this, click on it, you will see over here icon, it says this icon is actually a desktop icon. You can click on it, you can put whatever icon you want. This thing, wow, it looks ugly, right? So however, once you put it, you want to make it bigger, go to style, you will see the size over here, you can just increase the size as you like. Alright, or you can just rotate it. Alright, but it's funny, right? So anyway, that's the idea of it. So for another part is the button. So double click on it, go to style, you will see normal. Normal means it happens when the page is static. Nobody is hovering their mouse onto the button. So when I move my mouse, you can see it changes color or it shows some animations. Go to hover, you can see the hover animation is bob. You can change to grow and see how it looks like, something like this. And the good thing is that you can change the color when people hover their mouse onto the button. Let's change the background color, it should be look very nice. Something like this, this color, gray color. Once you've done the background color of the button, move your mouse, you will see it changes. Does it look nice? So this is how you do the hover animations and it is very interactive and very responsive when people are looking at a page. Let's go to here. So this is pretty interesting part. It has this hover animation as well. When people move their mouse, the background color, the background pictures will change. So how can you do that? With your mouse, you basically will see this thing, this five icons over here. Basically, you can just drag it, or you can duplicate it, or you can add a section, or you can save it, whatever you want. How to change the animations? Double click. Let me double click on it. Yep, you're entering the layout and go to style. You have your normal view and hover view. Normal view, it should be something like this. Hover view. It'll be something like this. You see, it changes. Let's say you want to change to other pictures. All right, let's delete this. Let's add another picture. I'm going to add another picture. Let's put this picture. I'm not sure whether it's going to fit in with the words color. However, you will, you will get the idea of it. So once you've uploaded the files, insert media, you will see you have integrated. Let's try and see. Yep, it look nice. So you can see the transitions time, the time that it take to change the pictures. You can make it very fast. You also can make it very slow. 
go down you, you can adjust the transition duration you can make it very slow I can make it like split seconds like this alright so it depends on your preference and something pretty cool is that if I scroll my mouse something like this you can see that the images over here the books pictures I can't show you because the hover mission is, is blocking it you can see when you scroll your page you can still see the background images how to do that it's pretty easy go back to the normal mode go to attachment section go to here click on fixed if you click on scroll if you move along the way if you scroll down the page you see you see it doesn't it seems like there's no scroll effect or rolling over effect whatever you want to call it so how do you do that? Click here, click fixed. You will see it doesn't move the background picture. So of course you need to click no repeat. So if repeat, you will, you will see the files will duplicate itself if the background picture is not that big. Make sure you click no repeat or you can click and click cover on this size contain. It will look something like this. Of course you need to be cover the whole damn website which is the cover let's carry on to the last section so if you try to look at this section I have put in a manual anchor double click on it it says payment what does it do is basically putting an anchor onto this section it must link to another button where they can navigate or redirect them into a certain section inside the same page you can click here let's preview the changes basically you can see how it looks like for your sales page and go to button over here this button will redirect visitors to the payment section the menu anchor as I've shown you just now like this Oops. So this is the menu anchor let's go back to the dashboard so the menu anchor for the name of it I will put payment so for the button above, for this button, definitely you need to put a link. So in this part, you definitely need to put this thing and payment. So it will redirect visitors into that section. Alright, so how to do this slash thing. I have a the uh, previous price. I want to slash it off. Click on here. Go to style. Go to typography go to this decoration part you can choose line through overline underline none line through basically this feature is for pricing purposes where you can tell visitor that it was priced at $29 now it's only 10 go grab it now so for the last section this is something like the end section for people to know more about you you got your social network button the copyright blah 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 so how to redirect people to your Facebook account YouTube or LinkedIn so when you click on here you will see all the social icons click on Facebook you will see the link when people click on the social icon to go to your Facebook make sure they open it in a new window so they does not exit your sales page and they forgot about your sales page and then and and they will keep looking at your Facebook for other things so make sure you open in a new window it is too small I want it to be bigger go to style so this is like a pattern whenever you want to adjust the size go to the style tab from here you will see size padding spacing you will see this thing just try to adjust and see how they looks like if you don't really know what they mean paddings so this is how it means spacing something like this all right so it depends on your preference if you want to add social network icons go to content from here you can add item and click here there are so many uh, social network icons that you can put somehow it's limited all right so you can put the press blah 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 and finally is the pay button this is very important as you can see on my pay button which is access to coupon now you can see I have put in the hover animations with the 
with the uh, moving animations part and the color as well and you need to put in the link into it click on the button make sure you double click it and you'll see this link so this is a link that will direct people to the payment page or the uh, sales funnel page or whatever page you want and this is how you do that so when you're editing throughout the page you need and you look at here, you want to go back to the main menu. It's very easy. Move your mouse over here, double click on it. You will go to the main elements where you can put in all the uh, widgets. And all you need to do is to click and pull it and drop it. Something like this. And double click it, make sure you're entering the uh, feature of it so you can edit and start to put in whatever words you want. So this will not cover in this tutorial. The most important part is that you will able to import my sales page, able to fine tune the page size, and able to integrate your own images into this sales page, able to adjust the size of it, the uh, width of the column, the orientation, the icon, and lastly, know how to put in your URL link, your payment page link, into the button and you are ready to sell your online products online course whatever you want and this is how you do it so if you have any problem just drop me a comment below and i'll try to solve it for you it's very easy to do it because elementor has made it so easy i hope you guys enjoy it